This is an overview of the software license management module in Device 42. With our discovery of Linux, Windows systems, and other integrations, we will collect software package and versioning information across the environment. We make that data available in a few different ways. Let's start from a Windows system and look at how we can identify with this module what software is installed on a device. So from any device record that has been collected that with software data, we'll have the software tab, and this will list all installed software and versions when it was first found by device 42 and if it was recently found so if software was removed from that system and no longer available it'll have a old last updated timestamp so we know that that has been removed and potentially we could free up licensing if it is a licensed software i can drill into any of these other packages and get more detail about them as well see what other systems might have the dotnet framework uh, version 4.0 if this was a deprecated .NET version, we wanted to see if there's anything else with version two out there, we can click on this and see where do we have the, those systems. From the apps menu at the top, if I navigate to software and software components, I can get a list view of all of the software that we found across the environment and software in use would be the actual usage of that software. It's a list of all the software components. So I'm looking by anything that contains SQL so in particular, I'm looking for a Microsoft SQL Server licensing. Now there's all sorts of other filters here if I wanna look for certain vendors or different tags and custom metadata we've added to get the data I care about. Let's drill into this and take a look. Now on a software component, we can also define the license model. In this case, we've set a core license model which we've created custom. So you can create custom models based upon your needs, which is to take in effect for all of the different CPU cores on the various systems that have Microsoft SQL 2012 installed, it's gonna calculate based on that. So for all of these devices, device 42 is also discovering the number of CPUs or the number of cores, and it's automatically calculating based on that. So there's six devices, and with the number of cores deployed across all of them, the current license consumption is 43, and we've purchased 50 total licensing. Now, device 42 can track against that and send out notifications if you come close to this usage or over that usage, depending on the rule types that you set. Now, again, we can see here all the versions and the devices that have that software deployed. Now, there may be instances where we're manually assigning software allocation, if that's user-based or something that's not on a system or discoverable, and that data could be imported in bulk or done in the UI. So if I wanted to add and allocate a license to this user, I can select a user here and search for them and assign them to that. And this might be useful for SAS type licenses or things that are tracked by user as opposed to the de device it is installed on. Now I had assigned that to David, I navigated to their account and I can see all software that has been allocated to that user and what versions as well and the devices assigned to them. So we also have some of their laptops with the software that have been currently allocated to their resources. So we can always track back to what software allocation has been assigned to users or to those devices across the entirety of that estate for that given software package. In addition, it is possible to include contract information if we want to denote whether it's perpetual or some other contract type and the costs that occur for that. In available in reports and classic reports, as well as advanced reporting, the multiple reports available to get software inventory details or build conditional reports based upon software recently discovered in the environment. So you can identify changes in newly installed software uh, or just be aware of what versions, what vendors of software exist across the deployment. 